Hello, I hope uh, the community of Greater Latrobe is having a good summer. It's the end of July, um, almost the beginning of August, so um, from a school perspective, uh, we are gearing up uh, for the beginning of the school year. Uh, our first day for students, as you're probably aware, is August 27th. Um, but I wanted to let you know that during the summer months, even though your students are at home with you, um, or uh, you know, visiting and vacationing, you know, here in the school district, we are open 12 months a year, and there is a lot of preparation that goes on in the summer to have your students return to um, the school environment at the end of August. Um, and I wanted to note uh, one of those uh, this month in this brief message, and that is our custodians and our maintenance workers here in the school district. Uh, we employ 33 full-time custodians and six full-time maintenance, maintenance people. Um, you're probably aware, or maybe not, um, that we have about $170 million in facilities assets in the district. And that is a lot of money, obviously, but it is also a lot to upkeep. And truly, these uh, 39 people, maintenance and custodian workers, work all year. Um, a lot of them you don't see because they're here in the evenings, uh, especially our custodians. But during the summer months, it really turns into a different kind of vibe in the school district as far as cleaning and maintenance. Um, as you are maybe aware, our buildings are cleaned from head to toe during the summer months, and it is quite a project. And um, I'm not sure that they always get the appropriate thanks um, that they should, because you can well imagine moving um, everything out of classrooms, especially in the elementary level, uh, to clean those classrooms to the level that they should be cleaned every summer. Um, so it is really an ongoing project and it's one that, um, uh, it, it is their job, they know that, um, but it really is a different look in the summer months as they move through. Um, our six maintenance workers work all year as well, um, but certainly in the summer months um, there are assigned projects that um, might not be able to be done during the school year because there are no students here in the summer, they can do some things in classrooms and other things. Um, they have specializations, just like um, other um, areas in the school district. For instance, uh, we have custo a maintenance worker who uh, excels in plumbing, one in HVAC, and so on. Um, so they really are targeted as far as the areas that they're able to maintain, and they do an excellent job for the district. Um, separate from that, as you're probably um, also aware, our offices are open um, all summer. Um, we do have summer hours a little bit different, but um, part of being here in the summer is to prepare for the students' return. And as much as it may seem that, um, because oftentimes people are surprised that we work in the summer, uh, there is a lot of work that goes on. Um, for instance, the hiring practices of the school district are quite um, in-depth and um, in hiring teachers, we recently hired an assistant principal, a 10-month principal at the senior high school. All of those activities take a lot of time and a lot of people are involved in those processes. Um, so we are here and certainly if you ever have any questions or comments regarding anything that's going on in the school district, you can call at any time um, here at any of the buildings or at the administration building. In addition, I wanted to just note, um, this past month at the July board meeting, the board voted to move a million dollars from our capital reserve fund, or excuse me, from our general um, fund to the capital reserve fund. Um, and the newspaper asked quite a bit of questions about that because obviously it's a huge amount of money. But I tie it and, and try to make people understand a million dollars is obviously a lot of money, but when you have $170 million in capital assets, um, a million dollars when you're trying to maintain and upkeep the facilities does actually go relatively quickly depending on the projects. Uh, for instance, this past month um, the board voted to repair um, the rigging system at the high school in the auditorium. Um, the original rigging system from when the auditorium was built in the 60s is what is there. It became a safety issue and one that even though, um, you know, it uh, has to be done um, as far as the safety, it's also a need to be done because of the facilities um, and what goes on in the auditorium. Uh, that came in at approximately 220 million, 215 around there, or excuse me, 220,000, excuse me. Um, and so obviously that is a huge sum of money 
to come out of the capital projects um, fund. So just so you understand that the million dollar transfer is a lot of money, um, it is something that's used to maintain our facilities. In addition to that, um, we have a capital projects list for every building in our district. Um, it is a running list. Um, things get on that list um, based on need. Uh, there are different qualifiers to get on that list. Um, for instance, um, the uh, sidewalk at Bagley last year and the curbing at the Bagley Elementary School was on the list because it was a safety issue. Um, the the uh, concrete was eroding away. That was on the list for Bagley. So if you're ever interested in looking at the list, it is quite detailed and goes through with estimates and so on. But that is the list that we maintain and try to do from the Capital Projects Fund as we move through. Oftentimes, most of them are, are uh, safety as well as um, something happens that you have to repair. For instance, boilers um, in the high school is something that we're working on this summer. Um, but that was why the need to transfer that money um, uh, to that Capital Reserve Fund. Uh, I know it was um, a question that seemed to be on everyone's mind when we did that um, uh, uh, resolution in July. As always, we're here. Um, we're looking forward to the opening of school. Uh, we actually have our teachers returning the week before the students are here so that they can get ready for everyone. Um, busing uh, is something that will be coming out shortly as well. Uh, but again, please feel free to give us a call if you have any questions. Thank you very much.